Well, I guess this is as good of a time as any to kind of get this started. So, uh, good morning. How's it going? Uh, doing a vlog for the Greenville Regional, Greenville, South Carolina Regional. Um, I'm rolling up with a couple of buddies. Uh, we play in some uh, Guardian Chimera, or sorry, just Chimera branded uh, at the Regional. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of be vlogging wherever I can, and um, hopefully we have a good time. I'll be, of course, trying to go over my matches as they go. I already uploaded the deck profile I'll be running. It's a little different now. I've actually edited it a little bit, but uh, yeah, let's uh, have a good night or have a good day. All right, guys, we finally made it to the regional. Uh, this is my buddy Arjun. Uh, Arjun, what are you rolling up with today? Uh, Unchained. All right, so we already did our uh, entry, so let's see what you get, Arjun. Still one at a time, because obviously we decided not to take a table right. to do this. <laughs> there was no available spaces, chill. Oh, got the Monarch, oh boy. I'm genuinely sick of Duelist Nexus, like, I'm just ready for the next set. I can feel it, you're gonna get a QCR. I doubt it. Oh, I don't even have the camera position properly for a second there, I had to tilt it down. Everyone thought that was gonna be like the next Nibiru. Uh, you finished? Yeah. It's really just a dog shit card. Sounds like it. Right, come on, come on, you got this. Well, well, you got you got the uh, the big boy. Is not, it worth anything? Not that one. No, the ultra is worth uh, like thirty bucks or something like that. Whoops. You don't want to litter, obviously. Um, last two. Let's get it. Get it. Oh, you got Magnum. You're just getting the whole Chimera deck. <laughs> it's a trash card. Don't play it. It's not trash. Last pack. Come on. You got that QCR. I can feel it. It's going to be Crimson Dragon, too. Nope. Uh, you got Morganite. That's not... Or that's not Morganite. Sorry. That's... <laughs> that's thinking of Sayak. You got the shitty Testina card. Alright. My, my turn. Put that in your pocket for a second, because I'm uh, I need you to hold my phone. All right, here we go. Home something good. Well, I got secret rare slept near. I said something good. <laughs> Literally something good. I'm struggling. Oh, we got the $30 one. We should have exchanged pack, guys. <laughs> this was trash. This was rigged. He already made his money back. I got an ultra rare and a secret rare. Right out the gate. Oh, we got Gazelle. We're just, again, we're getting the whole Chimera engine right now. All right, so I think I'm um, just going to cut the video here. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Shitty Monarch. And we have to even out these shitty packs. Do you think they like weigh them so everyone gets something like of value? I mean, if they weigh them, how come I didn't get shit? You can still got an Ultra. And New World Amory Tara. Alright, well, I got something, so yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll fill you all on the games uh, as things go along. Okay, I managed to find a quiet spot. So round one just finished. Uh, I went against Unchained. I went 2-0. I went 2-0 against him, and um, basically I just kind of lucked out. I opened Fallen of Albaz, and they had Caesar and Blue Dog uh, on board. So I just impermed the Caesar, and then I Albazed away the Blue Dog, and then Mirror Jade kind of just swept the rest of the game. 
Um, and funny enough, that actually happened two games in a row. Um, I didn't manage to finish him game two uh, immediately, so he had a second turn. However, I did have the ability to remove the rest of his board because I had Rinbrom and Grave from using Mirror Jade previous turn. So I used Rinbrom, summoned Albaz, and used Albaz to take his red dog uh, to take Anguish and make Luvelian, and he just didn't really have any response after that because he had one card in hand and I guess it wasn't going to help. So, so far so good. First win in the bag, um, and if the rest of my Unchained matchups go that well, we're looking really good. All right, so we just finished round two. So I went up against Bishield Synchro, and um, unfortunately for him, he just bricked on three Ashes, a Crow, and a Bishield, or a Branded Beast, game one. So I set up my board, basically he crowed me, he ashed me, I called by the Ash, and it just ended up being that by the end of time he got to his turn, he had three and two more Ashes in hand and a DD Crow, and he just went to game two. Game two, he had a little bit of a board, uh, I was able to dismantle it and swing for game in the OTK. Uh, so got another 2-0. Um, unfortunately, again, he bricked, um, but hopefully he has more success for the rest of the game moving forward. But 2-0 so far, and we are moving to the third round. Again, sorry for most likely these are, these recaps are like back to back to back, um, maybe with some like filler in the middle. Um, I'm not very good at vlogging, so we're just we're trying new things. So. Uh, see you all in the third recap. All right, so I don't have a lot of time to recap round three because uh, we're getting ready to start for round four. Round three was a little bit more scary. We went, once again went against Unchained. Game one went first, won the die roll. It was a sweep. Uh, game two, he went first, and he's building up the typical Unchained board. And um, I'm sitting there with two Patchwork, two Edge of Chain, and one Poly, and I think an Ash in hand. Uh, needless to say, I had the entire edge of package, both of them, in my hand. Uh, so I just kind of scooped and went to game three. Game three, uh, it was a wild ride. I specialed Fenrir, uh, activated Sword Knight. Sword Knight got ashed, set Super Poly, and prayed. Uh, thankfully, it was enough. I Super Polyed their Rakea and their Shyama. Shyama had already used its graveyard effect. Uh, made Garua. They outed the Fenrir, and they chose to not kill the Garua. Um, thankfully, I had a Fenrir in hand. I crashed my Garua, drew a card, top decked another Fenrir, special of one of the other Fenrirs, um, and then set cross out Designator. Um, they, they outed that Fenrir, but they still couldn't go for game. So my turn rolled back around, special the final Fenrir, uh, used Fenrir to try and banish the Caesar that they only had on board, and they went for Imperm. I cross out designated and uh, called Imperm, and then so I got rid of the Caesar, and then I was sitting on Ash. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna move into round four. See ya. All right, round four. Uh, I really don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna make this quick. Uh, round four is going against my buddy Steve. Uh, I actually called that I was gonna end up going against him in round four. Uh, he was playing Runic for higher Sprite. Uh, game one, I just kind of out-resourced, uh, or not out-resourced, I just set, set up a really strong board of Chimera, and um, honestly, well, no, he he went first, he won the die roll, and I impermed the Hugin, and he set one card past. Um, and from there, I was just able to go for the OTK, essentially. Uh, I didn't actually be able to finish him on life points that turn, but I had enough on the board at the end of the turn to just kind of make sure he couldn't do anything next turn. Game two, he set up a very impressive board. He went first again. I didn't have anything to stop him, and uh, he just out-resourced me. I put up a fight, but I just couldn't keep up with all the draws and pop effects. Despite having summoned Dragoon, he smashers. Uh, he did sprite smashers on it. Um, game three, I set up a board of Dragoon, Chimera with Kotal and Sword Knight Engrave, um, Magnum the Reliever, and then like three cards in hand. Um, he just realistically couldn't keep up. Uh, he, on his first turn, tried to just activate things, and I was stopping him left and right. He went for Hugin, I ashed Hugin. He went for Destruction, I Dragoon. He went for another Destruction since I negated the activation. I went Kotal, he went for Sma uh, Starter, summoned out Blue. I went, uh, when he went for Blue Effect, I went for um, Sword Knight. I sided in Tiger King Wegu against him, uh, but unfortunately didn't end up needing him. But uh, yeah, so round four. 4-0 currently, we're going into round 5, so I'll see you all in the next round. Alright, so my Reign of Terror has finally got moving in. I lost round 5. Uh, lost 2-0, essentially. Um, 
really not a lot to say about this round. I game one, so I was against Rescue Ace. Game one, I opened Super Poly, two Ash, and two Cross Out. No way to get into the deck. Uh, basically, I Super Polyed two of his monsters, make Mud Dragon, and then he just kind of hit me a little bit. Top decked another Super Poly. Used two more of his monsters, make Garua, and he just kind of made Axis Code Talker and went for game. Um, game two, I put up a board. He just had so many Bistials, I had no way of getting Sword Knight or Burkhamet back on the field via like Chimera's effect, graveyard effect. And uh, he, like I said, he, he had the Mag and Druus opening hand, and then with Mag, he searched out another Druus. And it just. I just didn't have a way to get stuff on the board. I also misplayed. I forgot to use uh, Edge Imp Chain's effect to search Patchwork, and then I would have used Patchwork to get Polly. Polly would fuse the new chain and Garua that I had on the field to make Drago Stapelia, which would have helped a lot on his follow-up turn. Um, but then also, who knows what I would have drawn off Garua going to the grave. So, unfortunately, you know, misplayed. It happens. Um, I'm still definitely in this, so we're going to... Move on to round six. All right, so I have fi round five and six recap. Um, so, oh, sorry, round six and seven recap. Uh, round six, I lost again. Um, lost against Labyrinth. Game one was 43 minutes out of the 45 minutes. We just back and forth. Honestly, I, I misplayed once that probably cost me the game. And also, I didn't have the second Guardian Chimera, which also would have won me the game. I just could not get past his resources. So basically, I just couldn't break his board, and it made things just drag on. Honestly, I should have just scooped and moved to game two, so that way we had more time uh, to maybe draw it out. Uh, round seven, though, we ended up winning against Infer uh, Infernoble Knights. Um, game one, I won the die roll. I ended up setting up a board he just unfortunately couldn't break. I had Chimera on board um, with Cornfield and Illusion Sword Knight in Grave, um, and I had... Dragoon on board, um, and he just unfortunately couldn't break the board. And I had Imperm set, so also when he thought he used all my negates, I had the one more that really just kind of ended the duel for him. He scooped and went to game two. Game two, he uh, had a pretty strong board. Um, I had Imperm, uh, I had Imperm Super Poly, uh, Imperm Super Poly, and uh, Branded Fusion and tactics and i don't remember the fifth card but it wasn't relevant here um so he ended up uh set up a pretty strong board he had like a six samurai shogun or whatever that made it so i can only activate one spell or one trap a turn um and it just made things difficult looking at my hand so i managed to bait out a monster effect somehow and i went tactics and stole the shogun so that way i could continue playing I ended up summoning a Mirror Jade, banishing out his other monster, swinging for 55, and then despite him having the Shogun, he just could not play the rest of the, the duel. I ended up winning because he misplayed and went Underworld Goddess instead of going into something else that he wanted to do. Um, he even physically said he misplayed that. So he went Underworld Goddess, and because I banished a card last turn, I sent Alba Lanatus to Grave. Alba Lanatus allowed me to have Branded Fusion for my uh, follow-up. Uh, and I ended up going into a second Mirror Jade and swinging for game. Um, so yeah, we are currently 5-2. Um, two more rounds. Almost time for the invite. Alright, round 8. Uh, lost again, unfortunately. I lost to Dark World, um, of all things. I, I love the deck. I just didn't expect to see it. But you know, with Droll falling out of the format and a Rise Heart Band to finally... Uh, all you have to worry about is Shifter at that point. It, you have Hand Loop turn 1, you have uh, board breaker turn two, like it's just a hard deck to interact with if you're not side decking droll, which who the fuck's preparing for Dark World? Um, yeah, uh, I got uh, set up a really strong board. Unfortunately, he just I had a thousand draws and a thousand discards, and I just didn't have a way to stop him. Uh, game two, I opened one Fender, two Edge of Chains, a Patchwork, and Super Poly. Um, summoned Fender, searched Fender. Uh, set Super Poly and uh, set an Edge of Chain because the Patrick was dead because I only run two Edge of Chains. So it is what it is. We got one final round. Uh, there's Depending on my tiebreakers, I could still get uh, top for an invite. So hopefully we get it.
All right, just finished final round. Um, final round was Dark World again, um, but I won. It was Dark World Unchained, which was actually interesting. Um, he was primarily trying to go for the Griffin Lock, um, and I, both times uh, I hit him with Super Poly. Um, and then I normal summoned Alba as one of the games. Basically, the Griffin Lock just didn't matter. Um, two owed him. It was a good game, though. It was really fun, very back and forth, actually, because I wasn't able to just OTK him. Um, but yeah, so I am X3, 6-3, and we are just waiting on the results. Hopefully I get it. Hopefully I squeeze in. We'll see on the tiebreakers, but stay tuned. All right, so let's do a little recap, a little wrap up here. So as of recording this last little bit here, it is Monday. Um, I didn't get the chance to record like a little recap of placings and all that on uh, Saturday night at the end of the regional and I was exhausted yesterday on Sunday so I did not unfortunately get my invite um, I got 53rd and uh, invite was top 48 so I was really close um, like I said in I believe the last little clip um, it really came down to tiebreakers um, one of my tiebreakers made it to second but the other two didn't get very far, um, so they ended up not being able to like carry me up to get the invite, unfortunately. But at the end of the day, X3 is still kind of like a, it's a topping record for invites. It's just my, you know, again, my uh, tiebreakers just didn't do the rest of the job for me, essentially. Um, but yeah, a little recap. So, um... Game one was Unchained. Game two was Bestial Synchro. Game three, I believe, was Unchained again. Um, and then game four was Steve with Sprite Tri or uh, not Sprite Tri uh, Tri Brigade. Uh, Sprite Runic Fur Hire. Uh, game five was Rescue Ace. Uh, Rescue Ace was the first um, loss and. Looking back, I don't think there was anything I could have done better. So game two, or sorry, game one, uh, as I said, I opened one Super Poly. Uh, opened one Super Poly, two Ash Blossoms of Joy Spring, and two Cross Out Designator. Um, not really better that can be done there, unfortunately. Uh, the only better I could have done was, I guess, uh, I discarded off of the first Super Poly, uh, one, the second Ash Blossom, thinking that holding Cross out Designator was the play, it wasn't. Um, I could have Ashed his second his turn and maybe bought myself another turn. Um, but I just didn't do that. So that was probably the only better I could have done on that game one. Game two, I did full combo and he just had he had so many bestials I couldn't revive anything from Grave. Um, so. He just kept banishing the things I would target to revive from Grave with uh, Burfamet or Chimera's Graveyard Effect. So, unfortunately, there wasn't a lot that could be done there. Uh, the only thing I guess that could be done there was when I did Chimera's Graveyard Effect, I targeted Burfamet and he bishield the Burfamet. If I targeted Gazelle, wouldn't have been a problem. Um, but Gazelle wouldn't have been able to get me anywhere. Um, I guess realistically I could have shuffled the deck, which was in dire need of happening, apparently. Um, but yeah, uh, so that, that's really it for that game. Uh, there was a couple things I could have possibly done better, but at the end of the day, I bricked game one and I just couldn't keep up game two. Um, game around, sorry, round six, I went against, um... Infernoble Knights. I went against Infernoble Knights. Um, that was a win, obviously. Um, didn't really... wouldn't say I struggled. Set up a strong board. He couldn't keep up game one. Game two, uh, he set up a strong board, and I still played through it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, round seven, we went against Labyrinth. Labyrinth was the only loss that I think I could have genuinely played better in. Uh, game one, we went 43 minutes. Um... And that was just too back and forth. Honestly, I think after a, after a point, I should have acknowledged that I wasn't going to be able to take it uh, and just scooped and gone to game two. But I was just persistent. Uh, the things I could have done better. Um, 
I could have ran a second Guardian Chimera if I owned it. A uh, second Guardian Chimera would have definitely helped popping up the back row and just making it easier to break the board that kept getting reset, essentially. Um, and then uh, there was a point where he was getting really low on resources. I had Chimera on board he, and uh, Sword Knight and Grave. He summons Ariana and activates Ariana's effect. And I just let it through. I didn't mirror Sword Knight it. Um, if I did that, that would have definitely put him in a bad spot. I just didn't do it. I don't know why. I really don't understand why. Um, but yeah, that that's exact. That's what happened. So that was like kind of my biggest misplay. And then there really wasn't a game two. We went to game two, and there were two minutes left on the clock. I went first. I started summoning. He went fucking uh, Ghost Mourner to negate the Lubellion and then time was called so uh yeah i could have just played better by scooping and just moving to game two quicker uh and also if i had a second guardian chimera or i sword knighted the ariana the game probably would have ended differently um round eight i went against um i went against danger dark world i just couldn't play it i couldn't play against it i don't have droll or shifter so uh game one he uh i went first built a board he just blew it up and otk'd me game two i tried going first again um hoping that i would see like uh the, what i sided in was d barrier and nib uh hope i was hoping i'd see nib or d bear in my opening hand because like d barrier at least i could call xyz and he wouldn't be able to go into like dugaras and stuff like that not that that's gonna choke the deck but it certainly helps on a bad hand if if they have a bad hand and you call Xyz and they can't go to Garas, it's gonna help it's really gonna help um but unfortunately i didn't see either of the cards i sided in i even cited in, i think drew a swarm um and he just once again otk'd me um i just didn't have stuff in the side prepared for danger dark world um probably should have because it is a strong deck now that the rise heart is gone um and i had to, i asked him i was like did you get shifted or drolled today and he's like i got shifted twice against flu uh and i got drolled once from somebody who was running it in the main deck um but he was still seeing great success with it which i'm happy to see because i love danger dark world i just don't have the balls to take it to a regional <laughs> um and then round nine i went against unchained again uh, went against a unchained dark world variant it was really cool um but it just relied on getting uh it just relied on getting out the griffin lock which uh i told him after that game that i was playing i played under griffin lock like five or six times and uh just in that one day uh and i just didn't care um realistically guarding or chimera branded doesn't really give a fuck about the griffin lock if you play your hand right you can get through the griffin lock and disassemble their board and win the game so basically yeah um i had three losses again i went x3 and two of them i just don't really think there was anything i could have done to play better um there the the that was rescue ace and danger dark world rescue ace i just bricked hard and uh danger dark world it was either get otk'd or um get hand looped uh and there's a chance hand loop was probably the better choice because i could have at least picked the last card that was in my hand if he hand looped me twice um and i don't know if it was super poly and i could just draw super poly is bored away or something i don't know um but the labyrinth game i could have played a lot better and yeah so i mean it was an improvement because that was my second regional. Um, my first ever regional was in Stone Mountain about a month ago, and uh, I went five four. And yes, uh, this time I went six three. So seven two next time. Uh, the next regional is middle of November. Uh, it'll be in Kissimmee, Florida. I think is how it's called, pronounced. Kissimmee, Kissimmee. I don't know. Uh, Kissimmee. Mama see, mama say. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to be rolling up with at that regional just yet because uh, Age of Overlord comes out at the end of this month, October. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting for sure. Um, it's going to change up the format quite a bit. We're going to see a lot of Tier Horus after that. And we're going to see a lot of new stuff. It's going to be interesting and I'm looking forward to it, but also a little nervous. 
Um, so yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I'm not very good at these vlog things. Um, and also, don't get used to the face. We're still doing. We're still. I'm still a VTuber, but uh, I figured I'd just break the VTuber wall for a vlog. Um, this was fun. Uh, I don't really know how the editing is gonna go. Uh, this might just be a pretty like poorly edited vlog because um, I didn't get a lot of like what's called B-roll I think uh, I didn't get a lot of that at the regional because I was too busy focused playing I uh, don't have a camera guy um, so yeah um, so yeah go easy on me with the vlog editing for sure and uh, yeah like I said I'll see you all in the next video see ya